Support my content by becoming a patron on patreon.com backslash music. Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Anime Podcasters. I'm your host, Hotshot Ginger, and with me I have the one who actually created this mess of a show, Giant Music. How's it going, buddy? Yes, I pieced it all together. Yeah, I just kind of jumped today... in halfway through because I decided to. No, 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 no. You are part of this creation, and today we are going to be doing the ultimate anime character Frankenstein. We're going to get into this topic very shortly. I am very excited to be here with you, Hotshot. But before, we have a big, big, big deal coming up. Next month, June 22nd, 2020, is a very special day for the podcast. Why is that the case, Because Hotshot? that, my friends, is our five-year anniversary. So we're going to quit this episode! Oh, yeah! Well, yeah, yeah no, yeah. I'm, re I'm retiring. I'm done. It's over. <laughs> In all seriousness, we have a special episode planned for that specific day. We don't know what episode number it will be because we're still in quarantine. We're still, like, doing a bunch of episodes right now every month more than usual. But the idea here is that we're going to do, do a, a look back on the podcast, a bit of a get-to-know-us-even-more uh, podcast. So uh, the idea here is if you have any questions you want to ask myself, GoPro Kyo, or Hotshot, Leave them in the comments. Leave them on our Facebook page on Anime Podcasters. We're going to start collecting them. And in a month, we'll have a really special episode for you guys. Uh, I'm going to set up a thing for voicemail as well. So that's going to be a really great podcast. Uh, Hotshot, are you looking forward to it? I am. I am. It's going to be It's going to be a little different than what we're used to, to be honest. Definitely. All right. So for the topic today, we are doing an anime Frankenstein podcast. This is an idea I pitched Hotshot that I had randomly one night. The idea here is that we have eight different body parts. We are going to select body parts one at a time. Once they are selected, we're going to one at a time select uh, a body part from a specific anime p character. And as we go along, we will build our own ultimate anime Frankenstein uh, is that clear, Hotshot? That makes sense, right? I mean, yeah, just basically imagine having your uh, your favorite anime characters in a situation. We're just going to chop off their legs and other body parts and stitch them together until it is alive. Okay, so the eight body parts are brain, head, eyes, body, arms, hands, legs, and feet. Um... It's going to be really, 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 really weird. It's going to be a completely experimental podcast. If this goes well, we'll do a Bride of Frankenstein version. I just, I've been watching a lot of the Frankensteins lately and in, uh, during lockdown that, you know, I really wanted to do this uh, also, podcast idea. Also, there's another, yes. uh, another, there's a certain way we're doing this, guys. We're not each building our own Frankensteins like we would typically do, like what's Jaden's Frankenstein, what's my Frankenstein. We're making one. So we have picks for each body part, but we're going to be calling out which part uh, that we're putting together. So basically, if I call brain, Jaden can't use his brain. If he calls body, I can't use body, and so on and so forth. So it's both of our ideas just combining into one person. Okay, Hotshot, um, I have a strong feeling that you want to go, go first because I know, I think you want brain. I think you're dying to get brain. Is, is that Would that be accurate? <laughs> It would be pretty accurate, but can I have your word that uh, if I don't do brain on this pick, that you will let me have brain? No, no, no. You, you, you will have brain. I'm gonna give you brain because I, I just had a really strong feeling that you want brain. I just, I was thinking about this earlier. I'm like, hot child, hot child wants brain. All I want is that keep it, keep it non pod to cast. That's the one thing I want. Damn. <laughs> Come on. Fine, I will keep I, it non. I, think, I will keep it non Ponsu cast. I f I feel like that's a very fair compromise. I'll give you like you know like you are literally determining if this thing is gonna kill people or like care for babies. Like this, is like, <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what that's all I'm saying. I okay. want I want to give it someone so, with an absent mind. <laughs> <laughs> like you you could literally go okay, we're giving it no brain. You could do that. <laughs> I I could, and it would just be a mess of bodies, just like staying there, just no motor skills, no nothing, just completely motionless. Oh gosh. Okay, so I would. So you're picking brain. So I'm gonna put an H next to the brain, just so that's you. All right. So this is like we're I'm this like go... this. Okay, one sec. This is like we're calling yeah. uh, players for a kickball team. Just like uh, I'll take brain. All right. Uh, hands. Hmm. Eyes. <laughs> just like 
just like elementary grade school level, just calling people for your teams in, in which to annihilate the other team. I mean, I feel like that's basically what we're doing right now. Okay, I would like head, face head, the whole the whole shebang. Okay, I will take. Which one do you want? Uh, I'll take eyes. Knew it. I will take. Um, I will take. Um, hands. I'll take hands. Damn you! I'll take body. I will take. Uh, it's kind of boring now. Uh, I'll take arms. All right, I'll take legs. Actually, I'll take feet. I'll take feet. All right, and I will take legs because of that. So, let me just organize myself. A hotshot has brain, eyes, body, and feet. I have head, arms, hands, and legs. This, what is going on? This is gonna, <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> well, I mean, we are. It is going to be. It's a, it's a Frankenstein podcast, though. You know, to be expected. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. All right. So, who, uh, All right. how do we decide who goes first? Um, I don't, I don't think it's a, it's, I think, uh, I would like, I think you, you pick first, you could go first and keep going, but I think we should keep brains for last though. Brain, so brain for last. You, yeah. All right. But if you were to do brains last, I feel like you need to go second though. You see what I mean? Because the second person always. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's last. fair. So I'm going to start with legs. All right. I feel like I'm going to give Frankenstein just because of this person's uh, Keke Genkai. So why the hell not? This would be hilarious. I'm going to give uh, our Frankenstein Kimimaru's legs from Naruto. Kimimaru's legs? Kimimaru's legs, yes. You don't really see him. He's like covered in like that draped towel thing around his waist. Usually. It's, not a, it's not about seeing the legs. It's the fact that he can grow bones only on his legs. Okay. Well, I guess that's true, but... Oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. <laughs> this is already this off. Is be this is already off to a bad start. I know. Uh, Kimi Maro, uh, we've seen him uh, do ridiculous stunts with his with his bones. Mostly, his, I feel like arms would have been a, a better pick. I could have gone with arms, but, uh, but I just want to. Why not be? I, I, why not be random? Um, with Kimi Maro's uh, uh, kick again, Kai, we saw him do really weird stuff with his legs, like spikes or shoot like bones everywhere. And if Frankenstein could just like do that with his legs that would be such a random unexpected thing plus plus there's not one pair of pants you won't be able to rep, rip which you never know that could come in handy look i mean well i guess i guess you're right because he just keeps using the bone bone power and it doesn't ever rip through at the same time yeah. just i'm imagining the frankenstein walk you know like the leg going full up and then full down full up full down i'm imagining like with each step there's just a new bone that pops out of his leg yeah plus i feel like I didn't want to give, like, legs of a very, very fast character. Uh, you know what I mean? And, I mean, Kimi Mar was pretty, like, you know, what What's the? What would you say is the Naruto speed, like, of, like, not in Shippuden yet. Like, uh, can they, are they faster? I don't know, like, Mar I mean, Lee's, I Lee's, fa Lee's faster than Sight, so, like, he, he can just, like, disappear and immediately behind you. Like, almost, almost teleport speed, but not quite. I would say, like, hypersonic probably yeah something, something, like something like that like i don't that. i don't know like speed measurements but i just know they're fast so they're fast um i mean i am using uh, the naruto wiki here for the uh, hypersonic speed in aero, aero aerodynamics a hypersonic speed is one that greatly exceeds the speed of sound often stated as starting speeds of mach 5 and above okay so it's well, jets. that's gonna be in that that's gonna be interesting for uh for however else we put this body together. I also would like to make the request that he has a curse mark on his legs because Kimimaru has a curse mark and we're only using his legs. We'll we'll put the curse mark on his leg, but curse mark is always on the base of the neck. Yeah, but so, you know what? This is Frankenstein. Fine. You know what? We sliced off the part of Kimimaru with the curse mark and just stitched it to his leg. So it's on his leg and he now. Can go, he can go second state. <laughs> His legs only. My God! Just stop. I'm just saying that's that's what that's that's what it is. You you told me and okay before we started this podcast, you told me that powers would go in line with brain because you would need your brain to activate those powers. And now you're just saying he has the legs, so we can use the powers. I'm just uh, I okay. What what do you prefer? I, I think we could we could go crazy with it. I think like you were. I want to go I crazy, but you said no at first, and now you're going crazy. So yeah. Well, you were. 
obviously you were right, Hotshot, in that case. So I mean, I'll give the decision to you. I'll I'll take off the powers if you if you don't want the no powers. no leave the no powers. leave the powers leave the powers on, but on one condition. Uh -oh. I get that ninth category that I was telling you about earlier off podcast. Uh, what's the ninth category? Weapon. Again? Uh, fine. Cool. I win. But then you'll go last twice. This is too experimental. That's fine. <laughs> it's experimental. We have no idea if this is going to work or not. Fine, but I get an extra category, and I choose to use it only if I do use it. I get a random extra category. I I, 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 I get... Okay, give him a cat. Give him a pet or something. I don't know. I'm going to give him a hat. <laughs> give him a hat? All right. Whose who's clothes is he wearing? There. There's your other category. It doesn't matter because he's going to tear them with the bones. I mean, I'm aware, but it'd still be funny to see this monstrosity in, like, say, a Kakashi Jonin jacket or something. All right. All right. Uh, I, I think we've gone long enough on the legs. All right, okay, fine. Your first pick. All right. I'm going to connect the legs to something. I'm going to go body, uh -oh. and I'm going to go All Might's body, but not powered up All Might. I'm going withered All Might body. Oh, my God. <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you complete buffoon. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is going to be an absolute train wreck. <laughs> Go, bro, we got some mark. For so, you. All Might, his withered body, <laughs> he looks malnourished. He has like this almost bullet, like fist sized bullet wound in his chest. You can see his rib. You can see his rib cage. He looks like one solid strike would just put him down forever because it probably would. You can almost see through him if he turns to the side, and that's why he always wears baggy shirts. But it's, it's still all mine. Oh, my God. This is ridiculous. So, I mean, I think I take it as uh, this is just his metabolism working complete overtime. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's literally what it what it would be. So he um, he can I, eat I, he can eat no matter what or however much and whatever much he wants, and he's not gonna gain any weight. Also, because he's dead. But wait, not all might not dies? no not not all might Frankenstein. We're we're putting pieces of body together to form Frankenstein. He's dead. He's not alive yet. <laughs> yet. Wait until we give him the it's brain. It's alive. Wait. Yeah. Wait until we okay. give him the brain. I feel like okay. Can can the body uh, puff up? Can he use uh, one? For I'm gonna all say, I'm gonna say he can use one for all, but he has the three limit out or three hour limit that our standard our standard all might does. Okay, but he can only damage people with his body. He can only like like he can only like chest bump like, them. Like get off my roof! Get off my roof! Yeah. Like he, he can, like, he can use with bones he can use he can use them. one for all, but even like if he has like the bones out or something like that, it's not gonna count. So we're using one for all kick does nothing. Oh, I, just, I don't I don't know what to expect anymore. Here's here's the thing though, like say um say he uses one for all like only as a shield. Like say someone comes at him with a punch and then he just uses one for all. His abs are fucking hard as steel, and then just like the punch does absolutely no damage. So, like, he only uses yeah. it as shield. He doesn't use it for attack. Oh, my God. Okay. And then I he stabs really them to death idea. with the bones. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I could go, like, fully hot shot where, like, you are would be, you would be, you, you, you could, you would, like, not enjoy, like, the rest of this podcast. Oh, please do. <laughs> okay. For arms, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm choosing Piccolo. But wait, 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 wait. I'm using I'm using Piccolo after Cell sucked up his arm, so it's just like the you're body, using like, like withered, arm. useless arm. Yeah, for Piccolo. All right, that's fine. <laughs> so oh god, so really wait, 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 wait. So that means if he tears it off and regrows since it's a Namekian arm, and we're counting powers with limbs, if he rips it off, does it just regrow in the withered, useless state? Um. I feel like no. I feel like I. You know what? I can just I can basically make Piccolo's arm. It's just like. Yeah, no. Okay, no, no, screw it, screw it. I'm gonna. How, how about this? How like, about just... how about this? How about this? Piccolo's arm, but it only buffs up to actual Piccolo's arm when he's using one for all. Mm, no, I think it's weirder if we just keep it all separate. I'm oh, fine. <laughs> okay, Piccolo's arm, and he can regenerate, and he could like do like Hellzone grenade, and like he can do like Dodon Ray. I guess no, uh, not uh, not Dodon Ray. What am I saying? Uh, so he can still use he cannon. can still use his key powers, but he can't like punch really. Otherwise, it'll just wither apart like a pile of leaves and here's the thing 
here's the thing. Remember when uh, Gohan was training with him uh, in the Saiyan Saga, and then like he went into ape state, and then uh, Gohan's uh, Gohan's clothes got ripped off, obviously, because Gohan went to ape state, and so Piccolo shot him with a beam and like gave him clothes, right? Right. Well, whenever our Frankenstein tears his pants apart because of the bones, he can just shoot his legs, and regrow his pants. And, and regrow his pants. <laughs> It, it's a it's a very important distinction that we allow him to regrow his pants. Once again, you're welcome. <laughs> Seriously, uh, Piccolo arms. I feel like the Name- Namekian uh, anatomy is just so weird that like, why not throw it in there with human and uh, superhero and ninja? You know, I I I'm down for some more alien stuff happening. Oh, I I now. have a I have another like totally different species that I'm gonna throw in here, so don't worry about that. <laughs> you gonna put like a, a yard rad? <laughs> Damn it! How'd you know? <laughs> Actually, no, <laughs> I'm not throwing oh, in a yard rat to this. It's fucked up enough <laughs> as is. Um, I, I I feel like that's basically like what we need to know about Piccolo. Like he just has really strong key. Uh, his arms are obviously obviously very powerful. He's gonna have a way more powerful arm he than can, the body or he leg. He can like, stretch out his arm and just jump rope with himself. Yeah, he can he can stretch his arm. It's gonna be really weird. So Piccolo arms, uh, <laughs> all my body and uh, Kimimaru legs are what we have so far. This is gonna um, be weird. Here's the thing though: the arms and hands are gonna dictate like the use of the gun. So I if I give you like really really like n- stupid hands, like you're kind of screwed, right, for the weapon? Kind kind of screwed. Yeah, like if you give me someone who like has a blade for a hand or something like that, then. Can't really use any other firearms. <laughs> or someone who's like really fidgety. Oh, please do someone fidgety. That would be amazing giving them a gun. <laughs> <laughs> fidgety Frankenstein with a gun. This, so here's the, it, no, if you did, it would yeah. be amazing. <laughs> In I, this I remember, purely like, fictional sense. Yeah, no, obviously. But the thing is, like, I remember, like, in the, the Frankenstein movie, like, uh, they gave him, uh, they, they would, uh, the brains that they would give him, they, like, would be an evil brain or someone who was, like, not nice. And, like, Frankenstein didn't necessarily have the, the same IQ as this person. They just, he took, like, the traits, the values of that person was more what happened. So, just for brain, like, if you put, like, let's say, Light Yagami's brain in there, he's just going to be evil and want to, like, kill more. He's not going to be, like, very strategic. It's gonna be. It's more the intent, uh, more than the actual. Uh, more than the actual fortitude. execution. <laughs> yeah, just just an FYI for the brain. That's how like Frankenstein works. No, no, I so know. I I'm feel- I'm going back and forth between two brains here, so we'll see we'll see what happens. We could we could do one left and one right and just flip. One left and one right. Oh God! <laughs> All right, you know what? No, I'm gonna do that, but the brain is still me. I just can't decide between these two. If we if we come to that. If I can decide between these two, then I will only pick one. Okay, so that will I uh, pick a little arm. Uh, go ahead, hotshot. Uh, are you going eyes or feet? I'm going feet next. Well, we haven't. The, oh yeah, we have the legs. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we we have, we have legs. We have legs. We're fine. I am picking Genos's feet. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with me? What? What's wrong with that pick? It's cyborg and with the. With the uh, ninja and with the superhero who can bump up and the alien. But the feet won't work. It's robotic. Exactly. So he can't stand up. He can. It's just going to be weird. No, he can't physically stand up because generals, the way his feet work, his whole body works, is through machinery. If the rest of the body is in machinery, you give him, he's just going to be able, he's going to, he's going to like crawl everywhere. Hot well, job. then I guess you better give me some badass hands. Yo, you're screwing me at the feet. I'm going to screw you at the hands, bro. <laughs> Do you really want me to pick other feet? Well, I just, I don't. Do you really, feet, bro. Are you really just going to get mad that I, that I don't pick feet that work in your perfect world? I'm just saying, if you give him like a mechanical brain, that would be more cool. But like the, the mechanical feet, like just explain to me how the mechanical feet work with the human in the alien body we have so far. Machines can be fused in with the human nerves and can be actually connected into them. That's how augments work. So they can actually work that way. So you're going to have to take that into consideration when you pick your brain, though. That's the thing. Well, no. Augments work by, like, say you get a limb chopped off and have it replaced. They can work with human uh, with human ligaments and with human... Uh, connections. That's how augments work. That's how Luke has his uh, robot hand in Star Wars. 
that's how like augmented robots work they're infused with human uh, tissue and flesh so augments can work yeah. so just use genesis okay. feet as an Fair augment enough. but the more i'm thinking about it the more i'm realizing the only reason why you're picking the feet is because he has rockets yeah <laughs> all right what's wrong with that <laughs> Uh, Geno's feet. All right, just just go ahead with the Geno's feet. Geno's can use rockets from his feet, and I mean, if that, then imagine just having uh, Kimmy Mulder's bones out, and then just Geno's rocketing and just slicing everything. <laughs> he doesn't even have to walk; he can just jet propulse everywhere. So, wh- but what? Why is that better than like another? I don't understand that though. Like, why? Why specifically these ones? Like, is that is really because of the the? Because now uh, he can fly. <laughs> but you could have given him like any other character with flight and the feet. I uh, would that have worked? I guess so. Look, this thing is experimental. We're chopping up people and putting them together in different parts. So bear with it and have an open mind. There's nothing I'm logical about mind. any of this. Well, you know what? It, it's it's okay, Hotshot. I'm just trying to like see what makes sense and uh and, and none of this makes sense none of this All makes right, sense. fine you know what not genesis feet i'm giving him monokuma's feet those are just bare no. nubs okay we, we 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 can go with the genesis is a great pick because it was a great idea, great idea hot shot. <laughs> go ahead go ahead with genesis feet. That's brilliant best pick so far hot shot. damn right <laughs> oh man ah uh, i don't know what hands to pick I'm confused at, at the hands. You're confused at the um, hands? Go with the face. We haven't done the face yet. Yeah, but I feel like the face is like, I have a good pick with the face, but the face has to come right before the ring. That's the way okay, I see it. Okay, okay. Like, you know? So, I don't know, Hotshot, I'm open to suggestions. I have one or two ideas, but I'm open to suggestions. All right, go with idea two. Idea two? Yeah. What do you mean by idea you two? You said you had one or two ideas. I'm saying go with the second idea. I am picking Saitama's hands for one reason. <laughs> Fucking... One punches. Oh my! Or Frankenstein can, can one punch anything. Now. Okay, imagine. Okay, imagine. Well, then why do I have to give him a weapon? <laughs> anyway, exactly. Fuck that, you. It, Fuck it, you. Exactly. Fuck you. You got, you. It. You got it. Fuck you. Got it. You, you. Realize, you realize it right on the podcast, buddy. No need for some weapons when your name is Saitama and you got hands. The best anime hands. You can throw hands with anything. With Boros, with the deep sea. But you told you with... told me yourself that he's punched people and they survived. So maybe he does still need a weapon. You told me that yourself. Yeah, he has when he wasn't trying. Yeah, so he just don't, won't try. Well, it depends on the brain you pick. That's, that's, that's what's the br- the one I have, the brains that I have, they don't try. Well, that's gonna be a really. Like, I I really hope you understand that. Like, it's all gonna be on the brain at the end of it. No, I know. But it's the but the, the but the brains I have, like the left and the right that I have, they don't try. <laughs> and when they try, Sh- they do get Shikamaru. just as serious as Saitama. But when they don't try, no. <laughs> uh, or maybe you just put like Choji's brain in there. Like I'm not putting like Choji's that. brain in this fucking abomination that we're calling a Frankenstein. <laughs> Although I do want to point okay. out one thing: Saitama's hands are attached to a Piccolo's arm that can stretch. That's amazing. <laughs> All right. So next up is, uh, since you wanted to do face before brain, so it's me with eyes. Yeah. Okay. Me with eyes. Let's see. Who am I going to go? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not giving him the showering gun. So just like put that mind, uh, put that out of your mind. You're literally going to use the jacket gun because you're such a, Hugo fanboy. I am not. I'm going to use... Uh, actually, <laughs> there's absolutely no reason for this person to have this. I'm going to I'm gonna give him uh, Light Yagami's eyes after he made the deal. He never made the deal. Okay, I'm going to give someone who, used the, who made the deal. <laughs> but they don't have a death note. Yeah, I know. They just see people's names. <laughs> But you're going to cut half of their lifespan. We're fusing him together from pieces of other people. He doesn't have a lifespan. Yes, he does. If he dies, we just zap him up again. God. So, literally, his eyes are only special for seeing people's names. So, it'll just be like a total creeper when he goes up to, Hi, Sandra. How do you know my name? 
It's just gonna be completely uncomfortable and completely weird. Okay, so you got you got you could use Misa Amani because she uh, she did the ideal a couple of times. You could use uh, who was the idiot who put the death note in a bank? Mikami. You could use Mikami, the guy who like I, was super being delight. We'll give him I, I, we'll I, give I, him I, Misa's I, eyes. We'll give him Misa's Misa? eyes. All right, Misa Misa eyes. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Just, just for the sake of names, no other special powers, no other special abilities, and we just cut his lifespan in half, apparently. You know, the lifespan he doesn't have. Oh, man. Okay, uh, anything else you want to say on eyes? No, that's pretty much it. It's just going to make for, like, awkward introductions if they go by the name. Okay, for head, I am going to give... <laughs> I'm going to give Boo's head. Fat Boo's head. Oh, God damn it. Just because, like, it's why not? <laughs> it's pink. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing crazy here. Like, you could he could use his uh his uh, chocolate beam with his head. He can maybe shoot lasers from his eyes because probably he can do that with key. But that's that's about it. And like, just Boo has such a childish chi childish like face that if you give him a, like a really smart brain, it's just gonna look ridiculous. Cause you like see like Boo. Ha I 300 IQ, like, super smart. No, you couldn't. You know what I mean? So just Boo's face. Boo's face. It's very punchable. <laughs> I mean... It's stretchy. It, it's stretchy. It can take a lot of damage. It's bulletproof. Bulletproof can take a lot of damage. I'm just, like, imagining someone just walking up to this guy and punching him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> imagine and, uh, I'm imagining could... a tank just shooting him. And technically, he could absorb people with it. To, oh god no <laughs> i mean he can you're right he completely can but just that's a horrifying image to think about and his uh his uh, beam that he shoots from his head was also able to heal i remember that so really weird okay. that would be well that would really be weird would just describe this complete abomination that we're making mm -hmm. if someone can make exactly. fan art of this i'm one i'm sorry but two please <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm picturing this right now and it's the most horrifying thing I've ever thought of. Yeah, no, it's uh it's not a pleasant sight. <laughs> okay, so all right, so it's how literally... so how we're going to do this is uh this way. So since uh since we agreed that we'd give me the weapon category and you the random category, um I'm going to I'm going to pick both sides of the brain and then you'll go your random category whatever you decided that was and then I'll say weapon. I, I don't really have a random I don't really have a, a random. Okay, so I'll go. I'll I, go last three times. I guess, but like, I feel like just give him one brain. You know what I mean? You're picking so many things that like just one brain works. Never. I think, I think we could just come on. You know what I mean? All right, fine, fine. You'll have like double my picks if you do what you're doing. It's fine. <laughs> it's it's totally okay. So I think I think one brain is gonna be way more. Um, cause like, that's how the original Frankenstein was made. All right, fine, brain. but yeah. I'll but I'll tell you who the brain that I didn't pick was then in that case too. Okay. Go ahead, please. Brain I'm picking is Koro Sensei. Oh my god. <laughs> what? What? Is the point of podcasting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! That is the pick that broke him. I knew the other one won, so that's why I picked Koro Sensei. Okay, what well, you're putting Koro Sensei's brain in there? So I guess he would just be like really skilled. Is basically like a very efficient. Yeah, you know, um, like Kuro Sensei. <laughs> okay, go go get more into it for me. All right, with Kuro Sensei's brain, um, so not only is he able to multitask, like basically do every single thing at once, he's able to do that with like more than thirty people at a time at his uh, at his top speed, and he can still like keep track of everything he's telling everyone. He's incredibly smart, and but at the same time, he's still incredibly like laid back and not trying unless you piss him off in which case he will absolutely annihilate you <laughs> but and that that's kind of what i wanted to give this like abomination is uh it, it's a body that we put like an absolute hell hellish amount of firepower in it has rockets it has bone legs it has stretchy arms it has one punch hands it has um one for all ch uh chest burst apparently we need something to like not take that power all too seriously, or like for malicious intent, so or at least know to hold back. So I think Kuro Sensei can do that. Oh, it just it's so like outlandish at that point. Like I I just don't know what else 
what else to say on this? Like, uh, he's a genius, you know? Like, he was super gifted, and he was able to, like, uh, in instruct super complex, like, theories to his students. So, I mean, it's a good brain to pick, um, and uh, he would learn these, like, really crazy things. I remember, like, a matter of minutes when he was, like, uh, in a... Uh, an assassination classroom so overall you know uh, he just and plus it was like all the different subjects you know he taught every single subject in that class so yeah yeah it makes unfortunate sense Fun funny enough uh the other brain that i was going back and forth between kuro sensei and this one with was a genius in his own right as well which was sora from no game no life okay that would have been a better pick in my opinion yeah that that's why i didn't pick it that's why i picked kuro sensei Oh, I hate so, uh, so <laughs> originally Sora was going to be the left brain, which is like the logical decision and strategic making. And then the right brain being like your creative fun loving side, that was going to be Kuro Sensei. That... Right, no, I see. But since you said one, it's just Kuro Sensei. Because <laughs> I'm more of a, of, mean... a, of a believer in fun and happiness than I am strategic and law thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely a fair point. You That, that does sound like you. Um, but I think like, with what we've assembled here, I feel like Koro Sensei is a better pick, but like I just I prefer Sora in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so are you giving this Frankenstein uh, a weapon, even though he has sights in my hands? Does he? I don't think he needs a weapon. I mean, you could give him one, but I don't think he's he's gonna use it. He he'll take a weapon because I mean, at least Kuro, with Koro Sensei's brain, he'll at least look at it and and like test its capabilities and see what it can do, just because he's curious. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, trunk sword. Uh, come on, the classic, I, I, no, I'm not giving him trunk sword. I'm not giving him something that's easy for him to use. Okay, give him, give him samahada in that case. Samahada. Oh my god, we literally did this the last time. The shark skin. <laughs> then just call it shark skin. It's come on. It's literally uh, just okay. Whatever. Shark skin, right? I'm that not giving him that either. I'm literally, I could propose the pick that you actually picked and you'll just change your pick because you just don't want to like give me the satisfaction. Well, I mean, yeah, <laughs> let me have this. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead with the weapon. A rock. A rock? A rock. Uh, that's so lame. <laughs> it needs to be an anime rock. Which anime rock are you using? All right. I, which anime rock am I using? Uh, the one fan of the creek at uh, Heaven's Lost Property. I really, I really wish you said Rock Lee. <laughs> Just bashing. I, 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 no, that's not what I'm giving him. I actually do know what I'm giving him. Okay, go ahead. I am giving him the Beam Sword from Neptunia. I don't know that. Go ahead. I know. So the Beam Sword is the weapon used by uh, Nepgear, so uh, Neptune's little sister. This sword is a laser sword that can cut through pretty much anything and turn it into particles. And not only can it cut through anything, but it can turn into a mega ass badass blaster that can just annihilate whatever it's in front of. Not only that, oh it can not only just annihilate, but it can also be precise and snipe. Yeah, there's no way our Frankenstein is going to be able to use that thing properly. Hey, it's going to be amazing. Come on. <laughs> He's going to hurt himself. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. It's still going to be amazing, though. He's going to see like people's like lifespans and he's just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's, he's going to see it. He's going to know. But at the same time, he's like, you hurt my students. So I'm just not going to fuck around with you. Basically. He's going to see like okay, all of his so friends as his students. And then he's just going to annihilate them. No, it's going to. It's ridiculous. Okay. Very, very experimental podcast. Overall, I think this was hilarious. And I think we should do more of these. Um, okay. So to go over it one more time, um, we had for the brain, we had Koro Sensei. For the head, we had Boo. And then we have, for the body, we had Withered All Might Body. Then for the arms, we have Pickles Arms. And then for the hands, we had Saitama's One Punch Hands. And then for the legs, we had Kimimaru's legs. And for the feet, we had Genos. And finally, for um, the weapon, we had the Beam Sword from uh, Neptunia. Um, I just want to point out, it's funny that we had the feet of Genos in the hands of Saitama. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> the hands of Saitama to, like, just he's not gonna use you know what i mean just, i'm still giving him the bean use. sword like if he doesn't use it it still looks badass like on his back at least yeah you, fine okay so uh overall uh how, how do you think our frankenstein froze in battle depends on what he goes up against <laughs> let's 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 put him in something like Let's put him in a, like in a martial arts tournament, in a general martial arts tournament. He, and he's facing, I don't know. Hercule. Like, Hercule's dead. 
Oh yeah, okay, obviously. And then we take Hercule's hair for our own. I say let's let's put up again like a against a strong human and dragon like Oob. Oob versus our Frankenstein. What's happening? We win. You think we win we, against Oob? We win. You gave him yeah, one, you gave him side to my hands. Yeah, he we I yeah, but once again the Dragon Ball in the uh side One Punch Man universe, you know my thoughts on that. I yeah, think yeah, 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 yeah. much stronger. So, I don't think I think Oob uh, is more uh what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, uh resilient. Uh, not resilient uh, can actually like move around properly because that's this is a lot of working parts <laughs> i mean yeah but i'm still gonna say it what we win because this is our baby this is our child i don't want it to die <laughs> i'm like our child's not even gonna graduate high school you're like he's going to university giant it's like in in the middle of the fight uh, if we go by your rules anyway uh in the middle of the fight he just drops dead because uh because he has those eyes so that's just half of his lifespan just uh, boom. And he's down. Yeah, well, that was your decision. You set him up for failure with that one. You just did. Yeah, and I'm and I'm staying true to my suggestion that Frankenstein is not alive, so he doesn't have a lifespan oh, to lose. You know, he definitely is. Well, alive. he didn't agree to the deal. The deal was made by someone else, and he just so happened to take those eyes. You have to agree to the deal for it to be valid. He didn't agree so to I the guess deal. He just had I guess he he wouldn't have like he would have Misa on his eyes, but he wouldn't have the actual like powers. He'd have the powers because the powers uh, get, connect with the eyes. He just wouldn't have accepted the deal himself. Right, but the 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 way the the eyes work is with the is with the uh, if you lose memories of it, and I feel like if you're transplanted, you never had the memories in the first place. The more I think about it, the more he wouldn't actually have the powers of the eyes. This is coming from someone who actually watched Death Note. Yeah, well, this is also coming from someone who just wanted a batshit crazy podcast, so he has the powers now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, guys, that does it for this episode of Anime Podcasters. You guys can go ahead and find me, Hotshot Ginger, right here on Giant Music's channel. And you guys can find me over on my channel at Hotshot Ginger. We actually just launched a podcast over there ourselves, Pontucast. So basically anything that's too good for Jaden is over there on my side. And you guys can find me over on Twitter at Caution Ginger. Jaden, go ahead and plug away, buddy. I was actually thinking about that earlier. The the whole like whenever you promote the podcast, like say what you're doing. Not Don't say like. Oh, whatever giant doesn't want to listen to. That's what it is, know. though. Like that. That's what we agreed no. on. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. But be specific about it. Be like, it's it's more like it's uh, more about the etchy the anime. About. It's about the slice of life anime, like there the cutesy stuff, the dirty stuff. The apparently Jane likes the uh, like thought provoking and story story heavy driven characters and stuff like that. That's not my thing. I like boobs. I like explosions. <laughs> I like cutesy stuff, and that's over on my channel. <laughs> Exactly there because people don't know necessarily what I don't like. So I, I want like if you like that kind of stuff, go check out Ponce to Cast. It's like it's great for that subject matter. So go check that out. Uh, it's obviously on Hot Shots channel. Um, and then for um the artwork of anime podcasters, it's provided by GoPro Kyo. So go check him out on Twitter at GoPro Kyo. He has amazing artwork and he's available for uh commission. So go hit him up on Twitter in the DMs. Great artists, great affordable rates. Uh, for the podcast, we are on facebookcom slash podcasters and you can also find us in any of uh, the podcasters uh, that you probably listen to your podcast into, uh, whatever it be, uh, iTunes, Spotify. We're literally everywhere, even at iHeartRadio. So go check us out. Go give us a five star review. We always appreciate it. And for myself, I am at Giant Music uh, on youtubecom slash music. You can follow me also on uh, uh, my website, giantmusic.com. I'm available for freelance audio services. That's uh, everything I do. So if you need any music production or composition, I have a bunch of free time right now because obviously I only have the summer class so go check that out for me thank you so much for everyone uh who's listened to us for almost five years now this is gonna be a great uh episode that we're gonna be working on it's gonna be extra effort put into it so make sure you go check it out uh and leave us the uh, questions uh anywhere you want on uh, facebook on the youtube comments or tweet it at me on twitter whatever you want and join the giant music discord server all right uh hot show, what what are what's our next uh, episode uh, going to be i have uh, no idea we'll talk about it off podcast I think it should be shown in characters. Okay, then. Shown in characters it is. All right, cool. Just to tease you guys. All right. For myself and Hotshot, this has been another episode of... Anime Podcasters. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Anime Podcasters. 
If you would like to support the podcast, you can find audio downloads on Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, and Google Play. If you would like to support the voices in this podcast, follow their links in the description and the Twitter handles on screen. See you next time, weeds.